Vivacious, I am Sebastian. Bio Vivacious is a YouTube channel dedicated to clear fundamentals of biosciences and make the subject exciting. In the earlier sessions, through transemination and oxidative uh, deamination reactions, we have seen that how we collect all amino groups in the form of glutamate. So, now we are coming into the third stage of uh, urea cycle. The third cycle is, uh, third stage is transportation of ammonia. How to transport ammonia? So therefore, ammonia which is a, a toxic, a harmful substance, it is transported in two forms. One is, it is transported as glutamine. Remember, glutamine is a neutral molecule. So therefore, it is not toxic. And it is, it can easily pass through the plasma membrane, not like glutamate. Glutamate has got a charge. So it can be transported as glutamine. And it can also be transported as alanine. So these are the two forms by which it is transported. Let us see how it is transported as uh, glutamine. So therefore we need to look at uh, either L-glutamate which, which is being produced through a uh, transamination reaction. Now um, this glutamate is converted to L-glutamine. So therefore so you can see that an amino group is added okay NH4 plus is added and a molecule of water is released now this is an energy requiring process so therefore ATP is needed and that is converted to ADP and PI so glutamine is formed let us look at the structure of this so you will get clarity on uh, the real mechanism so glutamate so this is the structure of glutamate CH2 two times this is the amide carboxyl group so this is converted to so see the the the, the um, new amino group is added here to the, uh, the amide nitrogen. This is the amide nitrogen. Okay, this is glutamine, which is uh, uh, a neutral molecule. So, in the form, as glutamine, it will be transported through blood. It will reach liver. Once it is in liver, so there is another enzyme. Uh, so, therefore, this enzyme here, the name of the enzyme is. Uh, uh, we are synthesizing glutamine, so therefore glutamine synthetase. Okay, the name of the enzyme is glutamine synthetase. So, once this it reaches liver as well as in kidney, in this glutamine is converted back to glutamine. So you know that when glutamine is converted back to glutamate, so therefore it requires, it's a hydrolysis reaction. This is release. Ammonia is release. This ammonia is used for urea cycle. You see how the ammonia is transported. Okay, one way to transport in a, in a safe manner is as glutamine. Now this reaction is catalyzed by an enzyme uh, known as glutaminase <laughs> glutaminase now the there is a there's a large quantity of glutaminase is uh, I mean it's highly active in kidney why it is active in kidney because um, you know that this ammonia can act as a buffer okay so especially uh, when there is an acidosis etc so therefore this glutaminase will be highly active and ammonia is produced and it can be excreted in liver it will take place in order to transport ammonia and make this ammonia available in liver so that the rest of the ammonia can be converted to urea and it can be ex excreted so this is one of the ways by which it is transported
Another way to transport uh, uh, ammonia is as alanine. So therefore, in earlier session when we were discussing about uh, uh, gluconeogenesis, we have seen in the glucose alanine shuttle. So how pyruvate by accepting uh, pyruvate by accepting an amino group, so NH3, so it will become alanine and this alanine is transported and then the reverse reaction will take place uh, in liver. So that is a glucose alanine shuttle. I request all of you to go back to that session on glucose alanine shuttle and have knowledge about this. So therefore, these are the two ways by which the uh, ammonia is transported to liver.